Hello, my name is Raymond Quiles. I am a student at Liberty University. Today I'm going to be talking to you about business ownership. As a former business owner, I can understand some of these statistics. According to the U.S. Small Business Administration, businesses provide 55% of all jobs and 66% of all net new jobs. In the next few minutes, I'll discuss the vocation of business ownership. First, entrepreneurs are the backbone of the U.S. economy. Two, more entrepreneurs are needed. And three, entrepreneurs can make a great impact for God using biblical ethical standards and conduct. The Small Business Administration says that 23 million small businesses account for 54% of all sales. In fact, large businesses have lost 4 million jobs while small businesses have created 8 million jobs. In fact, if we look at this chart right here, we can see the impact and how significant it is. Small businesses have contributed over 65 million firms, establishments, and employees, while just under 60 million jobs, employees, and establishments. We can see that a small business, that is a business that is small, less than 500 uh, employees, is, makes a, a very big impact in our economy. My second point, more entrepreneurs are needed. Some people fear, as an entrepreneur, that they have to know it all. And that's not the case. An entrepreneur is a person who goes out on an endeavor. A new venture. Damon John, president and CEO of FUBU, says that entrepreneurs need mentors. Mentors, by far, he says, are the most important aspects of business. In fact, let me give you an example here. Ann Byler, owner of Auntie Annie's, the software pretzel company, had sales of over $240 million. And when she started her company, she had no formal education, that is, high school education, business knowledge, or any capital. She understood one thing. She quotes, My history is one of depending on God. I know who my source is, she says. Business, my business is bigger than I am. It brings me to my third point and final point. God values honesty. In Proverbs 12, 22, the Bible says, Lying lips are an abomination to the Lord. God values integrity. A false balance is an abomination to the Lord. In Proverbs 11, 1. If honesty is the foundation of a building, integrity is the bricks, then trust is the cement that holds it all together. The greatest threat to a sale is mistrust or lies. A customer who cannot trust you will not stick around for the next sale. No creative marketing strategy will replace the relationship built on trust. In conclusion, entrepreneurs are the backbone of the U.S. economy. We need more entrepreneurs that are honest, that have integrity and trust. A business owner can serve as a platform to promote honesty and integrity through godly biblical ethics standards. In the words of Sig Ziglar, honesty and integrity are absolutely an essential for success in life. 
all areas of life. The really good news is that anyone can develop both honesty and integrity. If you're looking to make a difference on our economy, creating jobs for people, and impact for God, then look no further than owning a business. Thank you.